Will ChatGPT, or really any advanced AI large language model, replace developers? And is it even worth it to study computer science anymore? This video is sponsored by Walling, but more on that later, and thank you to these patrons over on Patreon. With the chatter about ChatGPT, Google's competitor Bard, and even more recently with GPT-4, there's been a lot of talk about the implication of these large language models. In one sentence, ChatGPT is a large language AI model from OpenAI that can seemingly respond to any given prompt with astounding realism, but not always factually correct including some really funny role-play scenarios. For example, you can ask ChatGPT to write a four-paragraph essay about the French Revolution that's actually, you know, half decent, or even write code based on your own parameters. I even integrated ChatGPT-generated dialogue into my indie game in a recent video if you're interested in checking that out. ChatGPT really caught the world by storm by gaining one million users just in a single week, and I think it was actually the fastest application to ever do that. And it's expected to pass one billion users by the end of 2023. So I really don't think it's going anywhere, and I think it's something generally here to stay. There has been a lot of talk about how ChatGPT and again other large language models like GPT-4 might replace white collar workers like programmers. And these jobs usually were thought to be pretty hard to replace or fully automate. We got a slight taste of this with GitHub Copilot that would be able to autocomplete based on prompts similar to ChatGPT, but ChatGPT has really expanded the functionality. I want to preface this with saying that this is all just my opinion, I've only been working in big tech for two and a half years, so take everything I say with a grain of salt. So in a short answer, I don't think ChatGPT or similar tools will fully replace software engineers, but will greatly augment their abilities, potentially reducing the amount of software engineers required to accomplish a certain task. I don't think we're at the point or even in the near future where all software engineers can be just replaced by someone typing in prompts to ChatGPT. Modern software stacks are immensely complex, and I don't really think that ChatGPT can get that niche and that correct, at least from my perception of it. We can see an example of this with Andre Karpathy, one of the key engineers that worked on Tesla's autopilot, that says GitHub Copilot is writing about 80% of the code he's developing. So this, I believe, will start to transition the responsibilities and ultimately create new roles. Now, it's common in automation that roles are replaced, but new roles are also defined in relation to that automation. For example, with the the rise of big data, we saw the explosion of data science and data engineer roles. And I think something similar will happen with ChatGPT and large language models, where the software engineers might transition to more of a software architect type role, where you're focusing less on the how and more on the what, where ChatGPT, GitHub Copilot, or other models can handle the actual writing of basic code and the software architects define the problem that needs to be solved. And this isn't the first time that machines have written their own code. Auto-generated code can be seen everywhere, specifically in a lot of those website builder sites like Shopify or Wix. And I said basic code for a reason. As there are different levels of complexity when it comes to development, if it's just writing internal web apps or APIs that are somewhat routine, I would trust a large language model can probably write that effectively. But novel cutting edge research or algorithm development, I think will still be left to human software engineers. I can also see ChatGPT or other large language models being trained on specific company internal data, which would make it more effective for writing code for that specific company. Because companies generally have different styles, internal tools, and general internal APIs. This is even more interesting when we put it into the realm of an area that is slightly more creative, like game development. As a hobbyist game dev, could a sufficiently complex large language model like ChatGPT effectively reduce the number of game developers? Again, I think this goes back to the what versus how argument. I'm not confident yet that ChatGPT could design a compelling and fun game. Again, fun is very subjective even to, you know, human game developers, but it could maybe give us some useful ideas to just get our minds thinking. For the actual implementation, like adding physics or procedural generation, problems that have already been solved, I think ChatGPT again would be fairly capable, even more so as it develops. And if you were thinking about getting into game development potentially, I just want to quickly mention this video sponsor, Walling. I often find it hard to visualize all of the ideas I'm thinking about and 
how they interact, especially when it comes to game development. Walling is great for that because it's an extremely visual tool to help organize all your ideas and projects. And everything can just be on a single wall so you don't have to go flipping through a bunch of pages. You can put your game brief, ideas, character information, quests, and even code blocks. Walling is also great for collaboration, where you can invite your team to your wall to work together in real time and communicate just way more effectively. You can all add ideas, leave comments, and assign tasks to different team members, which is awesome to help avoid duplication of work. Walling is also really visually appealing. It's really clean and simple, which definitely adds to its effectiveness as a productivity tool. Now, when it comes to sharing your wall with others, you can impress them by presenting your work on beautifully designed walls. Customize the wall colors to perfectly match your brand, add your logo, and choose from a variety of text fonts to create a truly unique display. And Walling has a new free plan that allows you to add unlimited blocks and use the app to organize and manage your projects for free. Visit walling.app to create a free account and start organizing your ideas and projects. And thank you to Walling for supporting the channel. In addition to the growth of the software architect role, I think a similar role, but in the QA or quality assurance realm will also develop to basically debug and manually review the output of these models. So the overall one-liner I think for software engineering and software development is that the problems will shift from a how to a what. Instead of focusing on how to build something, there will be a greater focus on what to build and why. In general, productivity will pretty much skyrocket. And this inevitably already happens as you move from junior to senior development, you start to code less and less and design more and more. So these software designs or software architecture will generally come from the senior engineers and principal engineers, and the actual base level implementation will be done by those junior level or just regular software engineers. So although certain developer jobs may be reduced, I believe more opportunities will be created around the implementation, architecture, and verification of these AI models. And instead, Instead of full stack engineers and web developers being very common in this sort of age of software development, maybe machine learning engineers will be kind of that common practice engineer. For a dull analogy, and I'm sure you've already heard of this, is that we can think of sort of like a calculator. The calculator is simply a tool that is used for greater direction. So instead of requiring people to do math by hand, as I'm sure that was one job at some point, there are now people who use the calculators to achieve different goals in a faster manner and all at scale, like accounting or statistics. So in the end, is it still worth it to study computer science or some tangentially related major like software engineering or data science? And I think, yes it is. And this goes back to really the beginning of my channel. AI has the promise of disrupting pretty much every single field in the entire world. So I can only see computer science being even more important as AI becomes sort of ever present. There will be new devices, new applications, new games, new methods we can't even think of right now, and they're really gonna be the responsibility of those future computer scientists. So I know it's easy, and especially if you're in college, to get scared that you're maybe studying the wrong thing, and that AI is going to replace all computer scientists. And I'm not fully sold on this perspective. I think it's gonna be more of a transition. The responsibilities of a software engineer may not be the same as they are right now in five years, but I think there will still be plenty of opportunities out there for software engineering or for roles we don't even know of yet. But let me know what you guys think. Thank you all for watching. My name is Michael. We make computer science game development tech videos on this channel. If any of that does sound interesting, consider subscribing. Like this video to help your boy out with the YouTube algorithm. I also moved into a new apartment, hence the new background. Let me know if you guys would like maybe a new setup tour or, or an apartment tour or something like that. Check out my Patreon for code snippets and other benefits, and hopefully I see you all in another video. That's all from me. Bye-bye. I also realized that I missed the bad British accent at the end of this video, so I had to add it in post. Thanks for watching.